Guess who got up this morning at 6 a.m. to eat some ramen? This guy. And I'm not going to any place. Today I'm going to Tomita. Tomita is the legendary shop that is featured in the ramen documentary Ramen Heads. And a shop with top scores on basically every review site that you can find. Everyone who goes there loves it essentially. And it's just overall a legendary store. The problem is you have to get there quite early. Now I'm a little bit more lucky than other people are usually are because right now there's basically no tourists or let's say there are zero tourists here in Tokyo. So I could get there just by eight and be fine just as one person. But usually you should arrive around seven-ish at Tomita to get a ticket. What happens is you get there, you stand in line at, I think, I'm not sure if at seven or at eight, they start selling their tickets. And then you get the ticket, they tell you your time and then you can do whatever you want. And that's exactly the stage I'm at right now. So I'm just waiting. I got my ticket around 15 minutes after eight and I'm actually gonna be seated at one. So I have a bit of time, I'm gonna explore the area a little bit. And at one, I'll be back at Tomita and eat my tsukimen. That was Chuka Sopa Tomita here in Matsudo. Was it worth it to get up at six in the morning to get all the way over here in Tokyo? I think so. That was definitely one of the best bowls I ever had. First off, the atmosphere in there is great. Um, you're actually getting served by the legend himself, Tomita-san. He's there. Um, as far as I know, if he's not there, they're not opening the shop, right? And then the fascinating thing about this bowl is that at the core you know what it is right it's a typical say tonkotsu gyokai so a, a pork based broth mixed with a, a lot of seafood um, a seafood broth and very chunky you know niboshi parts but there's so many other components in there as well that you just can't easily figure out so you don't have only like the well-known components in there, but there's a, a sweetness to it. There's a little tanginess to it. And it's not like you can easily point out what it is. One of the things I really liked about this place is that when you eat, uh, there's almost the sensory overload. It's really just surprising like how much flavor you can pack in such a soup. And the soup itself is very thick. It clings really, really well to the famous noodles that they have there, which are quite firm quite thick and you pick them up you dip them into the soup and it's like almost like a gravy that coats the noodles and as soon as you're almost done they'll ask you if you want to get a refill so they don't give you like a classic refill just more soup but they fill it up with some dashi and they also add a little bit of yuzu peel in there to give it a little bit of a different drive so you can still dip the leftover noodles that you still have uh, in there or if you're already done with the noodles, you just drink it as a soup. It's also known as soup fadi, basically turning the leftover um, 
broth or like the thick broth that you have into like a drinkable soup and that just gives the whole thing like a, a completely different spin at the end uh, in a more refreshing way especially through the yuzu peel it's just an overall great experience and this time I didn't get as much chashu I should have investigated a little bit better um, because if you order just the the regular bowl like I did and don't get any additional toppings then the meat that you see is the only meat that you get so for me that was okay today but next time I'm coming here I'll definitely get like the whole set of meats that they have I saw them setting up the meats for some other guests and that looked fantastic so definitely don't make the same mistake go for the whole set you can ask them about it, um, what you should get. If you want to get the full flight of meat, just ask them which button you should press and if they have like any specials. So that looked fantastic. Next time, I'll definitely go for it. And now to a rating. I mean, there can't be anything but a 10 out of 10. Um, I mean, it's difficult to compare this place to other places. It's definitely on the upper end. I would say the scores on the review side are absolutely justified. And if you are visiting Tokyo, this is a must visit place if you're into ramen. You just have to get up a little bit earlier, make the trek out here, but then the waiting time you can, you know, look around the area or just go somewhere else. Uh, there's a couple of interesting places around here. Use the time, come back here, get your nice lunch and you won't regret it. Trust me. And that's all for today here from Matsudo. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, click like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Now here's some bonus tip. If you completely screwed up and you arrived too late, you didn't get a ticket, you forgot to be on time during your slot that you were allotted, and you just didn't get a bowl at the Tomita Honten, then there is another option. And that is in the background, you can see here the Tomita Shokudo, which is the second shop that they have here in the area. It's basically just 100 meters down the street from the main shop and this one is way more accessible usually there's no line there's no ticket system you can basically just walk in usually at least um, that might be a small wait but it's definitely way more accessible you don't have to come here at like 7 8 in the morning so this is a solution if you're really in trouble or if you don't want the whole like wake up in the morning and stand in line thing yeah, that is a solution where you can also try um, their bowls but then of course it will not be prepared by the master himself but that's one of the solutions and i hope this helps if you're a little bit in trouble or are searching for an alternative solution